requests for the Catholic Church has been answered. And Mr. Tennant, too, is relieved that he can now be able to complete his unfinished task as a missionary in the country. I'm very relieved to be back. I have to say it's, it, was a, it, was, it was a very unpleasant ordeal, the whole process, um, because it was done so quickly and there was no opportunity to respond and everything. His return today comes after almost two months and a lot of controversy over his deportation. In an exclusive interview with the NBC, Mr. Tennant explained the PNG immigration failed to give him specific reasons for his deportation. Yes, well, I was, I was told that I, I breached my visa because I got involved in sensitive land issues. Um, and just last week there was a bit more de um, a detail about that. And what, what consumed me about the deportation is that the specifics of the reasons were not given and I was given no opportunity to, to respond. And that was, that was one of the very upsetting things. But all of these issues have now been put aside. Tenant was issued a new visa, the Volunteer Service Worker Visa, which is valid for only three years. His initial religious work visa was supposed to be for seven years. Despite the circumstances, Tennant says he is determined to continue to do his job. Archbishop of the Berena Diocese, Rokus Tatamai, further called on the relevant authorities to follow due processes when it comes to the deportation of people. He says same mistakes or what happened to Mr. Tennant must never be repeated. There are due processes that we are supposed to follow. Uh, there is no rush on things. Uh, and I think ultimately, not only for the Catholic Church, but the churches, uh, what we do here is our focus on the people. And uh, we try our best to uh, get the, the, the people that can help us to really assist us in uh, attending to these needs. Mr. Tennant will return to Kokopo tomorrow. Jacqueline Yala, NBC National News, Port Mosby.